this is this is Lucretia, my cousin. This is everybody. This is my partner, um, Orlando, Florida. I mean, something like that. I'm sorry, but yeah. Um, how you doing? Oh, well, they told us, this is what they told us. Now, I'm going to ask you. You tell me. Okay. This is what they told us. Okay. They said that y'all want to film the dinner and film us eating. Okay? Yes. That's what, they, that's what I came here for. That's what I signed on. Put the camera on me. I'm finna eat. Let's go. Let's pray. Okay. okay. Why don't we bless the dinner? Yes. Well, we wanted Let's to, bless the table. Let's we bless wanted the to table. ask a few questions after the prayer because we really need to um, know what you guys really feel about Christmas. And, okay. And, okay. And, well, Nikki told me I only got 10 minutes, so I'll tell oh, you about uh, Christmas. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Medea, why don't you pray? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, let, let me pray because I pray in five languages. I pray. No, 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 no. No, let's let her pray. I pray. I pray. You pray. <coughs> uh, uh, God, now, um, thank you. Um, I pledge allegiance. My dear. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't pray much, do you? Yeah, I pray. I pray every time I get pulled over. I say, Lord, don't let them find their ticket. <laughs> I pray when I'm trying to write a check at the Super Walmart, too. I pray then. Uh, maybe I better pray. Good idea. Pray for pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you right now. We bless this food, nourish it to our bodies. Yes. We ask God that you would bless the gift called family. Yes. yes. Thank you, God. We yes. give you honor and yes. glory on this Christmas day. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. 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 Yeah, let's eat. Let's eat. Yes. Amen. Are they eating? Listen, Ooh, before we eat, why don't we just... Say thanks. Yes. Just say thanks and quote a scripture. Sure. We love this. Okay. Well, I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for having a family that is patient enough to teach me the real meaning of Christmas, which is Jesus Christ. For unto us a son is born. Yeah. Oh, she's so proper. I am. <laughs> I am thankful to God for, for forgiving me. And if he can forgive me, then I too should be able to forgive others. Yes. And on the third day, he rose. Yes. Well, I am thankful for the love that I feel around this table. Mm -hmm. And even though my wife and I have had some problems in the past, I'm thankful that our love was strong enough to get us through it. Yes. And Jesus wept. Yeah, he cried. He was crying. And I'm thankful. <laughs> thankful for the opportunity to repent and to forgive. I just want you two to know that I'm going to do the best that I can. To whom much is given, much is required. Yes. And I thank God for life. Yes. Well, he died that we might have life and that more abundant. Yes. yes. Just shows you that you never know what somebody never. going through. That, ain't that the truth? Yeah. I don't know what I was going to say. Amazing. Sorry. I wrote it. Praise God. <laughs> Your turn, Brown. Say something. <laughs> for those of you who brought your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Paul. And sat down and eat. I'm just glad to be in the number. You always got the sense. What's your scripture? When I would do good, evil is always good. <laughs> Why are y'all looking at me? It's your turn. It's, I'm thankful to God that this dinner is almost over so I can go and get to me a drink. My dear. That no scripture. The Bible say drink ye all of it. No answer. I know. Well, she's right. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 27. I think <laughs> Sister Bynum might be a little out of context. But it just goes to show us that no matter what we're going through in our families or in our lives, yes. that it's always important to put Christ in the center of Christmas. What do you want to say, man? What do you want to say? Well, I just wanted to say I'm so glad to be here with this lovely family. Yes. I don't know them. I just came. <laughs> And they seem to be such a wonderful family, and you ought to be blessed to be invited to. You weren't here a few minutes ago. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. <laughs> what, what they seem to have pulled it all together. And they did it behind the veil. Behind the veil. They, yeah, they behind the veil. They, <laughs> yeah. And you know what they did? No more sheets. They put them down. They took the sky. That's right. That's exactly what they did. We got a Christmas song we want to do. Okay, I'm going to start it. No, go on, no. go on. Oh, come, all yes. ye faithful, joyful and try.
to do this because, I mean, I was sent here to interview Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, um, you are a person that love to praise the Lord. Oh, yes. And you love to shout. I like to shout. And they mess with me, I be shouting right here. Yeah. I be, hey! But watch out, it, watch is out. It, you, 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 it's you, in you, my blood. You feel that my daddy was a professional shouter. Go. And my mama shouted professionally. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to pause for a minute and let you get your praise you, on. You, From a line of the yeah. uh, the my Browns. Dad, my daddy shouted with Jesus. My great 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 granddaddy shouted with the Lord and Paul. Now, when before you got saved, you was you was you was a professional dancer. You said you taught who how to dance. That's my past. You don't want to tell my past. I used to <laughs> be a script. No, I mean not not that. I used to talk Michael Jackson, Prince. Show me. Show, show you how. To yeah. yeah. What what you taught Michael Jackson? <clears throat> television land let me tell you something Christmas is a time of joy yes. it's a time for us to laugh and enjoy our families amen? amen so many times so many times we forget we get so busy so busy doing the work of things of the church that we forget about our families we forget that family is important we forget that our families is a gift and this is a time Whatever you do, you need to make time for your family. Amen. There's nothing like family. Some of you are sitting there and saying, you know what? I haven't seen this one in a long time. I haven't seen that one in a long time. But I want to let you know something. When you get to the point that you become so spiritual that you can't reach out and touch your own family. Wow. Amen, somebody. When I said earlier today that the Bible said he that wanted souls is wise. When you look at all of what's going on this is an opportunity you need to take this opportunity to do something that you haven't done before to reach out and get the hand of somebody that you haven't reached out to in a long time because it'll be too late after a while we always look back and say you know what if i had a few more days with this one if i had a few more days with that one that's right then I wish I could have. Yes. But I don't ever want to get to the point where I wish I could have family. And they're not there anymore. Like Mike Frazier. Family is an awesome thing. And though it was comical, some very real subjects was dealt with tonight. Sometimes some of us think we're so all that that we can't reach out and touch somebody else. If you're fortunate this year, you need to get out. Take your family out and find some homeless people. Find a soup kitchen. Find somebody that you can feed. Find somebody that you can invite to your home and tell them, you know what? We're going to move over this year because there's enough room for you. It's about the love of Jesus. Come on, somebody. It's not just about how much we can serve each other and how many presents we can buy for each other. But it's about knowing that when this holiday passes, 
I have exemplified who Jesus Christ really is. If I'm not able to show the love of Christ, then you know what? I'm denying that power thereof. If I can't reach out and get somebody said to me the other day, well, how is it that you're with this person? If you with, I'm secure in the God that's in my life. And the Bible said it's time for us to go into the highways and the byways and compel them to come. You'll never be able to reach a set of man inside of four walls. You'll never be able to reach a set of man just, just being a religious person. But you got to go to where they are. You got to find yourself going to places and asking God to lead you and guide you. Because this year, I'm determined to take my Christmas outside of the four walls. I'm determined to touch somebody's life who never would have thought that anybody would have ever touched their life before. You sitting there on the couch, you need to make a Christmas list of somebody in your church somebody in your neighborhood that you know that it's not as fortunate as you are and you need to learn how to reach out and bless somebody else the bible said it's more blessed to give than to receive this is a time of giving it's a season for giving and not just giving presents but giving of yourself oh you didn't hear me giving of yourself there's some single mothers that are struggling right now you need to give up yourself there's some people that are going through in the hospital you need to give up yourself there's some people that are going through emotionally and mentally you have the power of the Lord to reach out and show them what Christmas is really all about we put this little skit together just for you for you to understand this one thing and that is you can make a choice to be depressed you can make a choice to sit and say I don't have a enough money to buy everything I thought I was going to buy for the kids. I don't have enough money to get them the kind of tennis shoes that they want. But but listen, for once and for all, you need to help your children to know that Christmas is not about them. You don't need to go in some kind of depression trying to make sure that you give them everything that they want. You a mother year round. You a father year round. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. You need to take them and go. Listen, some of us are going through all kinds of changes, trying to figure out how you going to buy this and how you going to buy that. When your children got toys that they still haven't played with, they got boxes of stuff. Amen, somebody. And it is a trick of the enemy to begin to depress the believer, thinking that we have to keep up with the Joneses and thinking that the season is about what the secular world said the season is about. But if we can buy presents but cannot show love, we have not exemplified that Christ lives. I wish I had somebody to say amen right there. If we can buy diamonds and we can buy necklaces and we can buy jewelry, but we can't say sorry, then we have not exemplified what Christ is all about. If we cannot ask people to forgive us for the hurt and the offense that we've caused in their life, then we have forgotten what Christmas is all about. This year, I made up in my mind, and I don't know about you, but Christmas is going to be about Christ. Christmas is going to be about the love of Christ. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. From all of us here at TBN to all of you that are sitting there, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to help you to understand that it can be as merry as you allow the Lord to make it. You don't have to go through another depressed year. This doesn't have to be an anniversary that you sit and mourn and complain. But this can be a time.